What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome on in. And if you are returning, welcome back. This is episode five of the My Child Lebens Born playthrough. And I wanna thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you haven't seen the previous videos, they are in a playlist and you can watch from the beginning. I also did a review of the video a couple months ago. And when this is all finished, I will be going live and we'll be having a live chat about everything and our thoughts about the game and everything like that. Um, but if you do like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I upload next. There is information down below about Sarepta Studios, the Discord where you can join, and uh, you can join my Discord. It should be popping up here in the corner at any moment, um, and we would love to have you in there. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into the video. Alrighty, do we have food? We don't. Do we have food to be made? We don't. So let's buy some food. Okay, so we can make some. This looks pretty hearty and good. So let's get that. And then we'll just get some of these here. Always good to have stuff that you don't have to make so that way you don't take a turn to do it. Give her something good to eat before her test. That was really tasty. I hope I learned something fun today. Do your best. I'll try. All right. Oh boy. I don't know what happened. I, I was just playing in the mud. I'm sorry. If something happened, you have to tell me. Are you sure nothing happened? The other kids... They flocked around me. Some of them started hitting me. But I didn't do anything wrong. It's not your fault, it's theirs. Why can't they just leave me alone? Just try your very best to keep away from them. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. Some people will always be mean. Okay, I, um, I want a bath. Poor babe. Oh no. What is a Nazi kid? Oh. Try to explain what Nazism is. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Nazism is difficult to explain. Some people think it's a system or an idea. A system or idea that thinks certain people are worth less than others. But you are in no way a Nazi Karen. You are very kind and loving to everyone. So don't listen to the bullies, okay? <laughs> Do you think my dad did evil soldier stuff? I don't think he did. <sighs> of course he didn't know enough of this nonsense. Oh, that's good. Mm, the water's getting cold now. All right, let's get you something to eat. Oh. Yes, you have. Um, I'll just do this. Alright, um... I just want to go to bed, okay? So, do people hate me because of my dad? It doesn't matter. They are ignorant and stupid. I think so. They're angry and scared by what the Nazis did in Norway. Well, we should just stay away from them as much as we can. I think so. But that wasn't me. I'm a good girl. Why are they mad at me for something I didn't do? They might understand in time and regret their actions. You have to be careful not to get their attention. We won't let them get away with it. I hope so. Can you read me a nice story? Yeah, of course. I think you deserve it after your day. <laughs> Let's 
a look at our journal. Let's see, do we have anything? We do. Oh, her bleed. Oh, that's right. She did her test already. She got a B plus. <sighs> Is your father a Nazi? We can only guess. One third of German officers are said to have been Nazi party members, but many of the regular soldiers were just boys forced to fight for the Nazis at the age of 18. If they refused, they would probably be executed. Still, German soldiers in Nori mostly thought they were lucky. Almost a third of the Wehrmacht soldiers were killed during World War II, while only 3% of the soldiers in Nori lost their lives. Oh boy, okay. Oh, it's Sunday. Good morning. Liv is home, can I go play? Okay, but get ready first. Okay. I just want to change your clothes really quick, honey. Yep. All done. Have fun. See you later. All right, let's see. Can we go fishing? Oh, okay. Maybe we can't when she's not here. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's where we would go fishing. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and fix some clothes here. All right. I'm gonna. Oh. She's back now. Sob. Why are you crying, Karen? Liv won't talk to me anymore. She says she doesn't want to be friends with a troll. I'm sure she didn't mean it, her loss yet. I'm sure. She's probably scared. I'm sure she didn't mean it. She was being really mean. She's probably scared of something or someone. What do you mean? I'm not scary. I'm, I'm not a troll. No, she's not scared of you. The other kids think you're different, but that doesn't make you a troll. Liv is probably scared that they'll turn on her as well, so, she's try so she tries to do what they do to be accepted, including being mean to you. You need to keep your head down, you need to give them some time, you need to stand your ground. And wait for Liv to get her courage back and let them realize what a wonderful girl you are and make them see that you're better. I'll say Liv get her courage back. Ugh, I hate this. It's not fair. If she doesn't want to be my friend, then I don't want to be her friend either. Yes. Time to do something nice. I'm sorry for being mad at you. Get you in the bath. And let's go play with the ball. All right, bedtime. Oof. No dream, yeah. I miss my friend. Can you read me a story? Of course. Nice. Thank you. The Deadliest War. World War II was the deadliest war ever recorded, killing over 60 million people. A mere fraction of that figure, and still very sad, 10,000 Norwegians died, but many were civilians. The occupation was hard. We had little food, some chose to work for the Germans, but many Norwegians suffered, standing up to the occupiers and the Nazi ideology. It cost people their jobs and sometimes their lives. It is no wonder the hatred that grew for those who were seen to choose material comforts over the fight for freedom and loyalty to their family, friends, and nation.
Good morning. So much mail. Do we have food? We do. Hm. Wonder what that'll be for. Alright, um well, wow, stuff is getting much more expensive. Right, let's wake you up a little bit. Or maybe... So let's get you into the bath. There we go. Is it time to go? It is. It's like I want to work overtime, but I also don't want to. Because <laughs> I don't want to leave her alone. Hey. Get her a good meal. I have no friends. <sighs> Could we maybe do something nice? We can draw. Great. Sleepy. So you maybe want to read me a story before I sleep. Maybe tomorrow. I see. Good night then. Alright, let's see what this letter is. In the news, Noisy Guns, the new film The Last Apache, takes us far out west in the days where men were men and women were rare. Robert Taylor plays the hero with a devilish look, falling in love with the lovely general's daughter, played by Arlene Dahl. Alright. Morning. Let's get you something to eat, honey. Get you in here, get you a little, wake you up a little bit. All right, we're gonna go in here. I don't think. Yeah, actually, let's change your clothes. Oh, I have to. Oh, okay, I see. Hang on. Let's see. I don't want to be late for school. Okay. Home. Welcome home. Thank you. We need to get more food. Growing children, they eat so much. <laughs> I also should spend my money a bit more wisely, but that's okay. Go get you here. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to take you here first and at least get you a little cleaned up. And tomorrow we will change you into something else. Liv was so mean. Can you read me a story? Of course. Nice, thank you. Yeah, let's take a look at our journal. Punishing Norwegian girls. It's strange that the women who had children with German soldiers were treated less harshly in other occupied countries than they were here. We lost less people, yet there is more hatred for these women. When the war ended, almost 5,000 of the women who were known to have been with German soldiers were interned into camps. They hadn't broken any Norwegian laws, but were kept in prison-like camps for up to six months. 
This was worse than the punishment given to many of the Norwegians who worked or profited from the German occupation. Being in a physical relationship with a German soldier was seen as worse treason than deciding to work for the Nazi system. Some think it's because it was easier to punish young women. Others thought the women belonged to Norwegians only. Wow. We are learning so much, I would say. Here I am, good morning. Let's get you changed. There you go, and you shall eat some food. All right. I have no friends. Yes, you do. I'm your friend. I hate everyone at school. Oh no, did you have another bad day? Every day is a bad day. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, let's get you cleaned up then. Time it is. Love was so mean. A story before sleep would be nice. Do you have time? Of course. I feel like every time she wants a bedtime story, unless there's a meal that we really need to get, we're going to read it to her. Alright, October 4th. Hello, I'm awake. Oh, we have a letter. We got more mail. Yes, we did. Right, let's go to this. Nothing? Okay. Let's go see what this is. And the news. Who allowed the reading of the short story? Octon... It was Fräulein on the radio with a scene with one of our Germans and an officer. It's disgusting, especially for us who felt the wrath of the Germans. And don't forget from Greeny Prisoner 13. Wow. Okay. It's hard to think how other countries went through all of this, you know? Oh, I'm glad you're home. Let's bathe her. I miss my friend. My tummy hurts. Are you sick? I don't know. Let me know if it gets worse, okay? Okay. Can I go to sleep? Of course you can. I'm going to sleep now. Alrighty, there's nothing else for us to do here. I don't think- oh, we do- oh! Mm. Oh, my heart feels for her. Alrighty, I think that is where we are going to end this uh, episode. This one was pretty emotional, I must say. Um, <laughs> whew, it was a heavy one. It's just really hard to think about the way others were treated in, others, in other countries and such, um, and it really does break my heart. Um, but I guess with that being said, thank you guys so much for being here with this video, and I hope you're really um, enjoying this series, and I hope that it's kind of made you open up your eyes and possibly made you purchase the game um, as well. Each purchase helps support the Children Born of War um, Foundation and 
So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. If you did like the video, remember to hit like and um, subscribe if you would like to see more. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Have a lovely day. Bye.